Hey, BotCamp students. Uh, so for cohort five, um, I created this hedge wallet example uh, script. Uh, so um, I wanted to create a little video uh, to explain um, kind of the thought process behind it, uh, go over the code, and also show uh, it running. So uh, let's go. Uh, so um, here's the uh, design template for the, the script. So uh, basically, it's an it's an example of how to hedge uh, something, um, you know, uh, based on based on the change in a wallet balance. So hedging is uh, kind of like a a core um, kind of concept in uh, in trading. So um, I think it's useful to have a script example like this. Uh, I know there's a strategy called script uh, that a community member maintains, uh, but I think like kind of an example like this, whether you're hedging. Um, uh, kind of like a you know a wallet balance uh, where you're hedging like a like a position uh, on 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 an AMM uh, or if you're just you're just kind of hedge just something on a random exchange. I think the concept of hedging is a useful one. So um, so overall, uh, this design template it goes over the idea of like you know you're you're checking this token balance um, every every time, uh, which is done through the data feed, and then if the balance changes by more than a certain amount. Um, then you'll hedge that amount. In other words, you'll place an opposite order for the direction of the price change on a different exchange. So, so overall, um, I, I would say that the core concept here is that basically you're trying to maintain the overall, the same balance of a certain asset across multiple places so that your overall ex price exposure doesn't deviate a lot. Let's say if the, the, the amount on one asset changes a lot, you're gonna kind of do the reverse trade over here to maintain the same overall balance of let's say ETH or USDC or some other asset. And the other concept here is that basically there's the idea of a delta, which is um, the the price has a uh, the the quantity has a change by a certain amount before you'll do the hedging. Why? Because every time you do a trade, uh, you may incur a transaction cost. And you're, you're, you believe that the value of this balance uh, it might fluctuate around some level, uh, in which case it might not make sense to hedge every transaction. So, so that's the overall idea. And um, the code uh, is, is over here in the wallet hedge example script. So over here, um, uh, the first thing is uh, we're gonna import the wallet tracker data feed. This is a new uh, component. Uh, as a version, I think 1.18. And over here we define uh, what token we're interested in maintaining. Or here we're kind of interested in maintaining um, the, the balance of wealth, defining the token that the wallet, I mean. And the threshold, this is basically the amount uh, that the wealth balance has to change before we'll do a trade. Here uh, we're gonna just do a sample hedging trade on KuCoin paper trade. Uh, and uh, the rest of the code is quite simple. Uh, you know, it's basically saying, you know, when a check the balance, um, and if the if the change in the balance is has exceeded a certain amount, uh, then uh, you know, basically fetch fetch the price, uh, and then you know, execute the the opposite uh, trade, uh, either a buy or or a sell. And um, the, uh, the 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 format status uh, basically is a, a, a kind of like a custom one that shows you uh, what's happening. Uh, during the hedging process. So let's go and uh, see this script in action. All right, so uh, I have Hummingbot running here. Um, uh, yeah, some of this is because I'm located in the U.S. Uh, I um, I have Gateway running in a separate tab over here, so it's online, and I can check by running the balance command to see uh, that I can fetch the balance of my uh, Gateway wallets. So um, I do have Ethereum girl here. So uh, I'm going to run uh, the same example as I showed earlier, where uh, it's just watching a, um, a, a wallet on Gurley. And then hedging on KuCoin paper trade. So uh, th this is basically the same, I think, as what's in the, um, the sample script.
So now uh, if I run status live, um, it shows that it's watching the balance of this wallet. Uh, uh, it's a testnet wallet. So there's 0 0.679 WETH in that wallet. And uh, I'm actually going to uh, move this to the side here uh, and then have Postman over here uh, so that I can um, change, uh, basically some, do some trades. Um, this is also using the same gateway uh, instance I'm connected to over here. And I'll do some trades to incur some changes uh, over here. So first let's, um, um, yeah, so actually let's, let's check the balances first. Bounces on this wallet to make sure uh, Postman's connected. Uh, and it looks like it's um, it has the same wallet balance as what it's showing here. So because I've already configured Postman with the same wallet I have in Hummingbot. So now let's, um, you know, so we have 0 0.679 WETH and let's go and sell 0. One with over here. Okay, so uh, that just sent a sell transaction. Uh, so when this transaction is confirmed, um, we should see uh, the, the 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 current with balance drop over here, and there should be a negative delta. Uh, and there you go. Um, so now um, now because this amount has exceeded the hedge threshold, uh, the bot will create a buy order on KuCoin paper trade for that amount. And, and now you can see the hedge is complete because uh, the ETH balance over here has increased by 0 0.1, while it's the WETH balance on this exchange has decreased. So the overall kind of hedge, you know, total delta is zero, uh, which is basically the intended effect of the hedge. So now let's let's go ahead and buy um, some WETH here and let's buy a smaller amount. So let's buy something like 0 0.03 uh, and, uh, and let's observe what, what happens. So when this transaction is confirmed, uh, we should see the delta here change again. And uh, let's see, and you can always do the pull um, in uh, in here in order to see the status of the transaction. Uh, we actually don't need to because it now just registered. So now you can see the delta is has gone up, or yeah, has has gotten smaller. Now it's negative zero point zero seven. However. Um, there was no hedge because the delta has not exceeded the hedge threshold of 0 0.05. However, if we do another buy transaction, so I'll, I'll send another buy. Uh, this is a fresh buy, so this is a separate um, buy of 0 0.03. And when this transaction is confirmed, and uh, I was saying that you could, you can actually pull for it over here um, on chain. So there you go, it's confirmed. Um, and, and there you go, actually, here you go. Uh, because the threshold is exceeded 0 0.05, the strategy created a sell order over here. Um, it's, so it's sold on KuCoin paper trade and the resulting delta has is now also matching and uh, the net delta is also zero. Um, so uh, that's just a very simple example that shows how you can use this, this script or a snippet from the script in order to hedge uh, a balance on, on a wallet. Um, I, I think actually if there's interest, uh, I can also extend this and show how you can hedge um, like a, you know, a, a, a liquidity position on Uniswap or a, a, another arbitrary um, a, um, a balance on, um, on, a, on, a, on a smart contract. All right, thank you, uh, and I'll see you next time.